Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Bul Fatih. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa on Bahrain's success in organizing Formula One Gulf Air Sakhir Grand Prix and Formula One Rolex Sakhir Grand Prix races. His Royal Highness hailed the people of Bahrain who managed to organize the two races successfully while following precautionary measures as a result of the efforts of the organizers from all government authorities despite the global exceptional circumstances of the corona pandemic. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince affirmed that the Kingdom's success in hosting and organizing the two races raised its status on the Formula One sports map and supported the efforts of attracting international events that will contribute to raising Bahrain's status and supporting the Kingdom's comprehensive development march led by His Majesty the King. His Royal Highness expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty, pledging to continue achieving his visions and aspirations following his approach and directives. He wished His Majesty the King abundant health and happiness and Bahrain further progress and prosperity. His Majesty the King sent a reply cable to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince in which he expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness, commending his role and distinguished performance, wishing him success in achieving further prosperity for the kingdom. His Majesty expressed congratulations on the success of efforts to organize the Formula One races, asserting that these efforts were successful despite the corona pandemic and its repercussions on all global activities. His Majesty the King praised this success and the efforts of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, wishing him further success. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from the National Guard Commander's Highness General Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa on the occasion of Bahrain's success in organizing the Formula One Rolex Sakhir Grand Prix 2020. The National Guard Commander congratulated His Majesty the King on the Kingdom's success in organizing and hosting the race on the outer track for the first time on the Bahrain International Circuit. He stated that the success of this international event is an extension of the monumental achievements of the kingdom under the reign of His Majesty the King, who has provided unlimited support to the kingdom. He hailed the efforts of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, which contributed to promoting this international event. He wished His Majesty the King abundant health and happiness and the kingdom further progress and prosperity. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from Bahrain Defense Force PDF Commander in Chief Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa on the success in organizing Bahrain Grand Prix and holding the Formula One Rolex Sakhir Grand Prix. The Commander in Chief affirmed that the event's success resulted from the directives and follow up of His Majesty the King reflecting the Kingdom's capabilities for the success of the global event. He praised the efforts made in preparing the event, wishing the Kingdom further progress, growth and prosperity under the leadership of His Majesty. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from the Commander of the National Guard, His Highness General Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa, on the successful organization of the Formula One Rolex Sakhir Grand Prix. His Highness General Sheikh Mohammed lauded the efforts of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister in furthering the Kingdom's global recognition as a hub for international sporting events. His Highness General Sheikh Mohammed wished His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, good health and happiness, and further success under the leadership of His Majesty the King. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from the Commander in Chief of Bahrain Defense Force, the PDF, Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, regarding the success of the Formula One Gulf Air Bahrain Grand Prix and the Formula One Rolex Sakhir Grand Prix 2020. The Commander in Chief expressed pride in the efforts of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince that resulted in the success of the international races during the exceptional circumstances imposed by the global spread of the COVID-19 pandemic, praising His Royal Highness's efforts to enhance Bahrain's position internationally at all levels. Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa wished the Kingdom further progress, growth and prosperity under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. 
His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa highlighted the Kingdom's tremendous success in hosting both the Formula One Gulf Air Bahrain Grand Prix 2020 and the Formula One Rolex Sahir Grand Prix 2020 on successive weekends. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince emphasized that the success of organizing and hosting both international races is a tribute to the preparation and commitment of Bahrainis and their determination to rise to challenges and secure achievements in line with the vision of His Majesty. To see the king. His Royal Highness highlighted the kingdom's global recognition as a successful hub for international sports events, expressing gratitude to the collective efforts and dedication that was once again on show by the kingdom's citizens. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince went on to warmly congratulate the winners of the race and express gratitude to the participating teams for the professionalism, outstanding performance, competitiveness and enthusiasm on display at the Bahrain International Circuit. His Royal Highness expressed appreciation to those frontline health workers, first responders, and their families who attended the race. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince concluded by recognizing the tireless efforts of frontline health workers and first responders, noting their central role in mitigating the spread of the virus and safeguarding the kingdom's citizens and residents. The Deputy Prime Minister, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa, today chaired the weekly cabinet meeting held remotely. The cabinet extended its congratulations to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa on the success of the Formula One Gulf Air Bahrain Grand Prix and the Formula One Rolex Sahir Grand Prix 2020, noting the tremendous efforts of the Kingdom's national workforce in organizing and hosting the international races, which reflects the Kingdom's global reputation as a successful 
Global Hub for International Sporting Events. The Cabinet further highlighted the success of the Manama Dialogue, the region's leading security summit, which covered discussions on regional and international challenges and explored solutions to further strengthen stability and security. The Cabinet also welcomed the start of the first strategic dialogue between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the United States of America to further strengthen the strategic partnership, mutual cooperation and coordination. On the occasion of International Anti-Corruption Day, the Cabinet reaffirmed the importance of ongoing efforts to enhance integrity and combat corruption through developing oversight bodies and to enact and update legislation to further improve transparency and accountability. The Cabinet outlined the following outcomes. Firstly, the Cabinet approved the following memorandums. A memorandum from the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs regarding amendments to the Framework Agreement for the Establishment of the Global Solar Energy Alliance, the ISA, and an update on the Kingdom of Bahrain's accession procedures as a member of this alliance. A memorandum from the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs regarding the National Authority for Space Sciences joining the International Astronomical Federation, the IAF. A memorandum from the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs on the MOU between the Government of Bahrain and the Government of the U.S. regarding the protection and preservation of cultural landmarks. A memorandum from the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs on a draft decision determining fees for issuing VAT certificates and licenses for representatives and agents and the submission of objections. A memorandum from the Ministerial Committee for Financial and Economic affairs and fiscal balance regarding the expansion of the Bilad al Qadim Health Center through a donation from a private charitable society. A memorandum from the Ministry of Education regarding the French Studies Center at the University of Bahrain joining the Francophone University Agency and accessing the agency's educatable resources and services as well as international experiences in science and research. A joint memorandum from the Ministry of Education at the Ministry of Finance and National economy regarding a financial grant to the project establishing and equipping the Galali primary and secondary school for girls to accommodate an expected increase in the number of female students brought about by urban expansion in the area. A memorandum by the Minister of Foreign Affairs regarding a draft decision to reconstitute the National Committee on the prohibition of the development, production, stockpiling and use of chemical weapons and on their destruction in line with the Kingdom's continued commitment to meet meeting international obligations within this field. Secondly, the Cabinet reviewed the following topics. A memorandum from the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs regarding the Government's responses to 13 proposals requested by the Council of Representatives. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, Ishana Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, affirmed that the success of the Formula One Rolex Sakhir Grand Prix 2020 reflects the unlimited support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to create an ideal environment for the success of this great international sporting event. He said that the prominent role of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa and his continuous follow up for this massive event since its launch has enriched the motorsports scene in the kingdom and the region. He added that uh, his effective participation has put the kingdom on the world's sports map. His Highness said that the organization of the Formula One race has reinforced the gains of the kingdom as it hosts this global event. It also reinforced the kingdom's name as a hub for motorsports in the Middle East. He stated the success of the race reflects Bahrain's ability to host such championships and tournaments as a capital for youth and sports. He his Highness underscored that the extensive efforts of Bahrain International Circuit and the keenness of the board members to cooperate with all public and private institutions for the success of the race. He also commended the role of the national caterers which contributed to the administration and monitoring of the race, which has reflected a distinguished and a safe image for all. 
The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, expressed pleasure in Cordoba Club's victory in the Spanish Football League Segunda Division B. He noted that the team's victory encourages players to perform well in upcoming matches. His Highness Sheikh Nasser added that the Cordoba Club has Bahraini management, which has taken corrective and positive steps from the technical and administrative aspects of the club, and that the team has a high potential that qualify it to compete for top places in light of the support the team receives from the board of directors. His Highness stated that the team's successful comeback proves its high capabilities which lead it to achieve positive results. His Highness wished Cordoba team success in its next match against El Egido. The first deputy president of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and president of Bahrain Olympic Committee, Zahana Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, affirmed that the success of the Formula One Golf Air Bahrain Grand Prix and the Formula One Rolex Sakhir Grand Prix enhanced the kingdom's ability to organize the Formula One races. His Highness considered this success a result of the support the sports sector receives from His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, which reflected positively on creating the ideal environment for Bahrain to attract major sporting events. Hazana Sheikh Khalid said that Bahrain's organization of the Formula One Rolex Sakhir Grand Prix contributed to achieving more successes after the success Bahrain achieved in organizing Babco's eight-hour endurance race, the sixth round of the World Endurance Championship and the Formula One Gulf Air Bahrain Grand Prix. He also praised the great efforts made by the Bahrain Motor Federation, headed by Sheikh Abdullah bin Isa Al Khalifa, in cooperation with the Bahrain International Circuit in harnessing all capabilities to organize this race and the previous two races, noting the efforts of the national caterers that contributed to the success of the three global races. The president of the Asian Football Confederation, the AFC, and first vice president of the International Federation of Association of Football, FIFA, Sheikh Salman bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa, received the Saudi Minister of Sports and Chairman of the Olympic Committee, His Royal Highness Prince Abdulaziz bin Turki Al Faisal, on the occasion of his current visit to Bahrain. In the presence of the Saudi Ambassador to Bahrain, His Royal Highness Prince Sultan bin Ahmed bin Abdulaziz. During the meeting, Sheikh Salman bin Ibrahim welcomed Prince Abdulaziz bin Turki, praising the qualitative leaps that Saudi sports are witnessing at all levels, which strengthens its position regionally and internationally. For his part, Prince Abdelaziz bin Turki expressed thanks and appreciation to Sheikh Salman bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa, noting the discussions that were held in the interest of Asian football and serving sports in various parts of the continent. The newly appointed judges took the legal oath before the members of the Supreme Judicial Council in implementation of Royal Order No. 45 of 2020 on judicial appointments that ensure the appointment of judges for the future judges projects in its second year. After the swearing-in ceremony was concluded, the Cassation Court President and Supreme Judicial Council Deputy Chairman Chancellor Abdullah bin Hassan al Bahrainin congratulated the new judges, wishing them success in their duties to implement the rule of law, urging them to make sincere endeavors to enhance their capabilities to issue fair judicial rulings, protect people's freedoms, and preserve their dignity and property. For his part, the Secretary General of the Supreme Judicial Council, Judge Ali Ahmed Al Kabi, stated that the Future Judges Project, in its second edition, was successful, which made it an incentive for the judicial authority to promote the project in support of the prosperity Bahrain is witnessing during the prosperous era of His Majesty King Hamad bin. Isa Al Khalifa. The Kingdom's Community's heroes were honorary guests in the Bahrain Grand Prix in appreciation for their courageous efforts and their sense of duty as frontline workers throughout the coronavirus pandemic. More in this report. The racing event, which sees the world's best drivers come together, opened its doors exclusively to hundreds of the kingdom's frontline professionals and their families, who were hard hit during the COVID-19 pandemic, for an in-person F1 experience. 
It's been a couple of uh, tough uh, months for the whole world, and we are very, very, very thankful for our uh, our doctors, our uh, our p policemen, and all of them who uh, risk their lives every day to keep us safe. And I'm very, very th grateful. And this opportunity that they gave us uh, show us uh, how much uh, they appreciate uh, uh, our community. And yeah, we are very thankful for it. I'm very thankful for this opportunity and uh, how we have seen the appreciation from uh, our leadership to give us such an opportunity uh, for being in through very, very tough uh, months that we spent fighting this disease. And I hope, I hope we end this soon. And again, thank you for our leadership and everybody who worked on give us this opportunity. I am thankful to be here today. It's a great chance to thank doctors. We are happy today to be enjoy our family here from First Team. And uh, for us, like we are today, celebration for all the people here in Bahrain. Uh, you know, we are reaching the good numbers now of Corona. So that's why we are here now and today to celebration with everybody here, like one family, one team. So far, all rounds of the F1 World Championship have taken place behind closed gates and that policy continues at the Bahrain Grand Prix. However, the kingdom's community's heroes were honorary guests in the track in thanks for their courageous efforts and their sense of duty as frontline workers throughout the coronavirus pandemic. I'm so lucky to, uh, to be here today as a frontliner. Uh, it was very tough year for us. And I'm very thankful for Bahrain government uh, to let me feel so appreciated to be here today. I'm thankful for this uh, great opportunity that the government has given to the frontliners of Bahrain after all these difficult months that we've been through. And I think that this is going to be a wonderful day for everyone. For this is the first time I'm attending the Formula One. Thank for ministry for giving the opportunity for giving us. Uh, since three years we are here and I didn't, didn't get any opportunity for attending this. We are very thankful for the uh, to the Kingdom of Bahrain because we are getting this opportunity. Last two years, we didn't get this one. We, uh, we, we cannot come, come here like that. So we are thankful to this Kingdom of Bahrain. The event, which was being held under special conditions in line with precautionary measures, allowed only a small number of spectators to attend. The F1 organizing committee ensured that the race proceeds with all necessary health protection measures in place, based on detailed and established protocols, while still putting a show for the hundreds of millions of people who will be watching from the safety of their own homes. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Yasmin Ibrahim. And the Ministry of Health said today that the number of coronavirus cases reached 1,559 with 154 recoveries and 198 registered new cases. 106 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 76 are contacts of active cases and 16 are travel related. The Ministry urges everyone to adhere to the rules and avoid public spaces when possible.